Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this video is going to be a bit different from my covers and my shorts and TikToks. I'm actually going to be telling you guys about my life story. Now I'm sorry if my eyes are red, it's just I cried a little because I didn't know how to actually tell it to you guys. I kept thinking on how am I supposed to tell this in a way that you will all understand so when my mom gave birth to me i wasn't healthy i was a premature baby and i had to be put in incubation or in an incubator and i was born eight months and 33 weeks the I won't really say that the normal baby but from what I have learned and from what I've heard is that when a mother gives birth it's usually nine months and it's around like 38 to like 40 weeks not 33 so I was very early into going in like my mom giving birth to me but I am so grateful that God gave me a second chance to live and to be who I am right now. So I'm actually 14 right now and I'm so grateful that aside from God giving me a second chance to live, God gave me a chance to be who I am and be who I want to be, like a singer, a YouTuber, a dancer, a pianist. Yeah. So, I'm so grateful that my family members prayed for me and they believe that I can survive. What you may want to ask, why am I sharing my life story out of nowhere? Well, you see, I recently prayed to God about like saying that thank you for like, giving me another chance to live and I decided why not to make a video about sharing my life story with you guys and so that you would be able to know like, why am I posting these kinds of songs on my YouTube channel and speaking of songs I will be cover my next cover would be Someone You Love by Lewis Capote so I will be Building that soon, very soon, you would see it on my YouTube channel. And how did I actually like got into singing? I started singing when I was five. Ever since I got cured by like my incubation, because I was put into many equipment in the incubator, and I could see that my parents and my family members and my loved ones were praying for me for me to survive that's why i'm so grateful that i am here right now now why singing singing has helped me recover when i was already going to start recovering my parents would play music like warrior by demi lovato fight song by rachel Platten, so that I would be strong for myself and I would fight until I recovered completely. Now what is the message of this, of my life, of my life story? The message is you need to be strong for yourself, fight for your life. If it's just like on your hospital bed, fight, don't give up. God is always with you and He will give you a second chance to live no matter what and no matter what good you have done or there were things that you did bad or sins, sins that you have done to be more specific God is a forgiving person Jesus is a forgiving person and I know for sure that He will forgive you God gives us second chances to live 
and to grow into a better person in life. Yes, it will be hard, but we need to fight to live, to grow, and to be who you are. How I fought for my life in the hospital. I fought so hard so that I can see you guys make videos and be able to be with my family. Do not take life for granted. Please do not. Because life is short. The future is unexpected. It's unpredictable and you have no idea what's going to happen. Do what you can while you're still alive. Do the right thing while you're still alive. If you have made mistakes, do what needs to be done so that Jesus will forgive you. So that, for example, you're fighting with someone. If you really want to be forgiven, fight for it. Forgive. Keep forgiving so the person would really know that you are truly sorry. For those moms out there who have been having trouble having a baby, don't give up. Please don't give up. God will give you, or you know, another way, bless you with a baby girl or a boy. Don't give up on yourself just because life is maybe torturing you or life is not on your side. Don't just say, okay, I need my life. Okay, I don't want this anymore. Don't say those words because one day they are hurtful in God's ears or in Jesus' ears. I'm telling you to this now so that you would know that we can't take life for granted. Life is short and we need to do as much as we can because we have no idea how long we are going to survive for. Those of you who have lost a family member, I know how you're feeling. I have lost my family mem many family members. Please, do not... I know it's hard not to cry when you lose a family member. And I know it will take a lot of time to move on from what happened. But please, don't just sit on the chair and do nothing. Because no, there's nothing really gonna happen, right? If you just sit on the chair and you're gonna be all sad. You need to move on with your life. You can't let that affect your life or your future, okay? And I want you to know, in my point of view, that we should always be grateful that we are given a chance to live, a chance to grow, a chance to be a better person. I know that it will be hard to change your ways, but everything just takes time. And I want you to know that even though your family member who passed away is not here with you physically, they're always there with you spiritually. They'll always be beside you, watching you, looking down on you, and being proud of you. 
again, don't take life for granted. I know that there were times that I took life for granted, actually. To be honest, I, there were times that I took life for granted and I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy taking life for granted because it's not good. And I learned that the hard way. We learned a lot of things the hard way. And to be honest, it's for me, uh, in my point of view, it's better to learn things the hard way than the easy way. So, yeah, that was my life story. Uh, I was premature. But God gave me a second chance. Music has helped me a lot when I was recovering. And that's why I want to share my talent of singing to you guys. And I want you all to know that you can do whatever you believe. Because when you believe, you will achieve your goal. When you do what you love, for example, you love to paint, and then you make a store or a shop, and you want to make your own business. If you really are dedicated in doing what you love, the money will always follow. And I know that it will take some time for people to recognize you as a person, as, for example, a painter. But don't give up just because people are not seeing your work. They will see it. You just need to keep going. That's why I didn't stop making YouTube videos, even though I was only at the, f at the start, I was only like few views, like 20 views, 16 views, 19, 30, one, 150, but that's a lot already. But when it was very few, I didn't stop myself from making content on YouTube because I know that people will watch my content and people will love it. Well, I hope they love it. And as a young girl, I know that it's hard to be recognized by a lot of people, especially in school. You get bullied a lot. You don't really stand out. But there are many ways that you can stand out on. Singing, dancing, painting, journaling. There are many ways. So that's why I'm sharing my life story with you guys is so that you will know that no matter what happens good or bad keep doing what you love do not just give up on yourself just because you for example you made a video don't just give up on yourself just because there are only few views keep going because when you keep doing what you love money will follow your views will get even more and more the people will increase the, no the number of people watching will increase and maybe even one day you will be recognized so thank you guys and if you guys want to know more about my life you can just DM me on Instagram and I hope that my life story has maybe inspired you and I hope that you guys have a great day ahead and let's pray to Jesus that we I go that COVID will end soon enough. That we won't need to wear mask every day, and that we don't need to keep having social distancing. Again, God bless to you all, and enjoy your day. I hope my 
life story has inspired you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye